to exploit people too much, farmers or any poor people, they were they used to charge compounding rate of interest and very high rate of interest. Due to which government thought that there should be a bank that uh, that lends on a reasonable rate so that people can pay back, and therefore the concept of nationalisation bank came. First national first was ma'am Imperial, Imperial Bank of India, which is later named on a State Bank of India was nationalised, and after that in 1969, 14 other banks were nationalised, and in 1980, six other banks were nationalised, ma'am, to pay to have the deep penetration of financial inclusion in the, the big reform in our banking sector in 91-92. Yes, sir. And there are lots of recommendations, especially in which women committed one and two. So after 91-92, which type of right now the reform in banking sector? Sir, in 1991 and 2, uh, liberalization, privatization, and globalization came into existence because India has lost. India was having very few foreign currency exchange sir, due to which it, it needs to take loan from the IMF. Therefore, IMF suggested that you should liberalize your policies. So, India liberalized its policies and allowed foreign institutional investors to invest in the every sector, including the banking sector, sir. Yeah, I'm asking for, I think, the banking reform is specific. Sir, uh, uh, private banks came into existence, more private banks came into existence sir, after 1990. So after 91, 92, how many private banks in open? Sir, I, there are HDFC, ICICS, sir, and uh, Axis Bank. Sir, I don't know, can, cannot recall the exact numbers, sir, but oh. these are the private banks. So a small bank and especially a payment bank. Yes, sir. What is the basic difference between a small finance bank and payment bank? Sir, payment bank can't provide credit and a small finance bank can provide credit, sir. So, in what is the credit of capital of a small finance bank? Sir, it is 500 crores, sir. So currently, uh, the change for lending rate is specifically PSL. Yes, sir. The one item right now to be including in private sector lending. Yes, sir. Specifically. So, have you heard about the name of particular this item which sir, is included? As far as I can remember, it is, sir, investing and trading has also come into priority sector lending, sir. So, what is PSL? Priority sector lending is, sir, when government fe government feels that there is certain sectors which gives which should be given priority to for the funds, so that which is necessary for the development of the country. So, these are like agriculture and allied activities, sir, education and health, sir.